Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another what's sold video for you today. It is Saturday and I'm going to turn it over to Kathy so that we can find out what's sold for us today. But I think we have uh, some support from viewers that we're going to thank you guys for real quick. Hey guys, I, I want to thank Chris and Lauren. Bought us a coffee set, fellow Colorado. Coloradans? Yeah, I was like, how do you say that? Colorado. You're a Coloradan. You don't even know how to say Coloradan. <laughs> I guess. I still consider myself a Californian, even though I have lived here most of my life now. Uh, anyways, um, thank you so much for the awesome spreadsheet. My husband and I started reselling this August as awesome. a fun family side hustle and love it. The spreadsheet you made has been such a blessing. Thanks for all the helpful tips and tricks too. God bless and Merry Christmas. Sweet, thank, thank you, you so you much for all that. That is amazing. We do appreciate that support. Yes. If you wanna check out the spreadsheet, there is a link in our description. It is free. Just make sure you type zero. If it's not letting you click the button, you gotta type the number zero to pay nothing. Yes. All right, and then Colleen bought us a coffee, said, I love your channel. Thanks for sharing all your knowledge. Awesome. Thank you so much, Colleen. Guys, thank you so much for all that amazing support. We do appreciate it. Reese appreciates it. He's been getting pup cups like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Making them even lazier. <laughs> it's okay. You're retired, Bubba. You can do whatever you want these yeah. days. You're a good boy. <laughs> he took his blanket away to see if he would just start laying in it again, but... He did a little else? bit. Yeah, we'll he, see how he does today. He's on and off. All right. So, randomly, I haven't had, like, Facebook sales all week, even though they've been doing, like, free shipping. I mean, I've had a couple, but they've been doing free shipping for, like, two weeks now. Barely got any sales, and then... As soon as the free shipping, like, switches off, I get, like, three sales or something. So, <laughs> this is one of them. Columbia Girl Snow Boots. Picked these up last week for $9.99. Sold them for $35 plus shipping on Facebook. And those will go out probably in a... It might be a little too big for a shoebox. I don't know what box yet. Because <laughs> that was on Facebook. Yeah. They might fit in. They're just like... The, they're a little bit too long for a shoebox. Do you have enough weight for a 13 by 13 by 9? I'm not sure yet. Maybe we can cut <laughs> it down. We'll see. We'll see how that one goes, and we'll let you know. <laughs> All right, BN, another Facebook sale that just came in. So this morning I turned on a 12% off sale, 12 for December. Oh. And <laughs> Cute. I already priced my items a little bit lower on Facebook anyway, so it does kind of eat into the profit, but that's okay. I Every time I turn on a sale, I feel like a couple things sell, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these Skechers I just picked up last week for $7.99. They sold for $22 plus shipping. So I definitely could have got probably 30 or more like on eBay, but yeah. Facebook is a lot simpler. Um, and the label comes right to my email and those will definitely ship out in a shoe box. So easy, easy. All right, this is going out to our viewer, Kendra. little toddler baby girl uggs Aww. booties <laughs> so i actually bought these back um when i did my once upon a child snow boot haul a few months ago so i did have 807 average cost of goods into them uh but these ones she offered me 23 dollars and i accepted so she also paid shipping on mercari thank you kendra yeah for kendra thank you for always 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 all like, that all it, yeah you're a huge supporter so. we do appreciate it so much yeah. thank you those Uggs actually sold last week on Mercari, and then the buyer, before I shipped them out, said, oh, I thought they were hard bottom. Can you please cancel? So yeah. I'm glad you got them, Kendra, <laughs> and I hope that you love hope. them. <laughs> so, and I hope you know they're uh, yeah. they're not hard bottom. <laughs> yeah. I feel like most people for that size don't want hard bottom. Most right. people want the soft for their babies. Yeah. Um, CR jersey. This is that blank but vintage just short sleeve sweatshirt oh yeah so, um i have 5.99 into it it's sold for 26.66 plus shipping this actually got a lot of watchers and stuff right away i know if i sold on the more like trendy things like depop i think i could have got a lot more and a lot probably sold it in a couple days but i'm still happy with 5.99 into 26.66 but yeah i've seen some other people sell these blank crew neck like older sweatshirts <laughs> for like so much money it just blows my mind it just blows my mind like i don't get it People like the old stuff. But I get like, I like spending money on our kids' it's nice clothes, so. Everyone has their <laughs> thing, I guess. You know, um, I, I think we kind of, yeah, we need to show how we're shipping this, this kind of stuff. This one is a little longer, so a little bit longer of a poly. And then shoe shelf. All right, some Doc Martens boots. I thought these were cool. 
I did pay up for these at Goodwill, but it was worth it. Um, these are these are $21.99, but they sold for uh, $57.81 plus shipping on eBay. So it was about a $30 profit. So still worth paying up for. They only took, I'd say about maybe just over a month to sell. So I think that's worth it. And those are also shipping out in a shoe box. Kendra's is gonna just ship out in a pretty poly. I did see shipping hip is coming out with Valentine's Prince. I feel like <laughs> I might have said that before, but I thought it was just one. It might be more than one. I'm cool. excited. I love Valentine's Day. I don't know why. <laughs> I yeah, just it's like not because it. of me. No, I think it's <laughs> I know just because I like red and stuff. I don't know, like everything yeah. everywhere is like red and that's like Red is your color, favorite so. color. <laughs> All right, these are the Duck Martens. BP. And Nike BP. Uh oh, is this BP? Well, I sold this, but that's not what's written on this. So I might have wrote the wrong thing. But luckily, with our spreadsheet, that should be an easy thing to find. So, yeah, let's just go figure that out for a minute. All right, so these were Nike ACG. Um, AO, yeah. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, put that right in your face. <laughs> wow. Just Guys, we are a mess. It's <laughs> Saturday morning. Well, it's afternoon now. Is we it? went to Chick-fil-A to see Santa Cow this morning. Yeah. Because <laughs> we told our kids we were going to do that, so we did. Santa Cow and Elf Cow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, I must have just wrote BP right after that one that was in BP, but it's gotcha. actually an AO, so. All right. Oh, my Whoopsie. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're. Bed after this, I <laughs> this is the sign that we need to stop shipping on Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> um, so these are Nike ACG. I think they're called Wildwood sneakers or something. I bought these last year on my birthday, like when I went to the Denver Bins Hall and then stopped at a couple regular stores on the way back. So I've had them for over a year now. Um, and I did pay $12.99 for them. And they just aren't selling. I don't know why. Nike ACG, anything usually does so well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they did not get much interest at all. So I finally got an offer a year later uh, for 29 and I accepted. So still about $11, $12 profit there. And I got my initial $12.99 back. So we'll find something else. Those are gonna ship out in a random box from my closet because they're going FedEx Smart Post. All right, so this is the what was in the BP box, the Roots Canada hoodie. Um, I actually picked this up, I think, a week or so ago when me and Chris were on a date night. I always make him come to the thrift store. We like to kind of find some stuff to kind of pay for the date yeah. night, just for fun. Um, it's a little game we play. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we did pay, well, we, I picked this out. I paid $4.99 for it, but I do remember, like, asking him, should I get it, should I not? I'm, like, looking up comps. <laughs> They're great. The comps are great. I still am, like, I don't know if I should get it. <laughs> I think it's because I didn't know if it was like men's or women's. Obviously mm. a hoodie could be unisex, but yeah. Um, yeah, I decided to get it. And then it did have a little spot on it. I think that was another reason. So I washed it. And once I got it listed, it sold in a day for $40 on Posh. So <laughs> definitely was worth the pickup. Um, the yeah. only other Roots Canada I sold, I think were those boots recently. And those sold fairly quickly too. So yeah, I'll definitely be looking out. I knew it was a good brand. I just, I don't know. I get nervous with new stuff, so. <laughs> but yeah, that sold on Posh. I listed for 50, someone offered 40. I was very happy to accept, and I will ship that out in a, probably a regional B-Box. I think it just means you need to trust your gut a little bit more. Yeah, I do. I could save myself a lot of time if I did that. <laughs> All right, and then last thing is a hat. Where you at, hat? All right. I feel like, did you find this? I don't think so. I, I felt like you. Maybe. This. I don't know. Um, it was when we were on a trip at some point and thrifted. So paid $2.99 for it. It took a few months to sell, but it sold for 15 plus shipping on Facebook. So about a $10 and some change profit there. Sure. I'll I take that that's win. That's pretty easy for a hat. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, hats, we do ship in boxes. So I'll find one in the closet. Cool. But so yeah. that's 
what we sold Saturday. Yep, and I did, because last night, if you watched our video, I said we had to go to a faraway post office, so yeah. then I stopped at Once Upon a Child, so I'll show you guys what I got <laughs> after we pack this up. Yeah, we'll pack this up, and we'll be right back showing you that. Oh, Reese, you're going to help us just in time. <laughs> All right, guys, got everything ready to go, except for these snow boots. We wanted to show you guys what we had to do for this box, so. Yeah, so the boots are about one pound, five ounces, um, which in a shoe box that would fit easily under two pounds still. This box is a little heavier though, so since I couldn't fit them in the shoe box, I didn't want to use one of our brown boxes. Precious because, brown boxes. Well, yeah, because we use those for the UPS and stuff, yeah. and we just didn't want to run out, so. Um, yeah, we just cut down the, the big one. 13, 13, 9. Yep, I think they're called the box O if you're ordering these. Yeah. But anyways, if you didn't know, like if you're new here and don't know much about shipping, anything that says mailing box, you can alter. Yeah. Um, but any of the ones that say flat rate, you cannot. Right, don't, don't modify flat rate boxes or even the regional boxes. Yeah. So... Yeah, I have no sign. <laughs> you know. Like a regional, it'll say regional rate. Um, yeah, like these on the shoe boxes you can alter, and then this. Yeah. Pretty much, I think those are the ones. But yeah, so we were able to cut it down. So all we do is is pick, you know, measure up from a specific point, and you know, cut up, fold over. I like to take something like, like, like a piece of cardboard to hold, and kind of assist me when I fold it over. I. I use this, just a regular box cutter, and I, you know, retract the blade and use that to score where I want it to bend. So it's just kind of putting a little crease in there. Yeah, and even with this big box, it was just over two pounds. So like something yeah. like, even probably just cutting off a couple of tabs would have been okay, but then yeah. just would have, we had to, would have had to stuff it with a bunch Fill of paper. paper. And, so we just cut it two size, even though you can see. It's just under two, and yeah, we'll just tape it up, put the label on. No paper needed. Yeah. And yeah, you can, you know, kind of how you see here, if you just need to cut some tabs, try to leave at least a little bit of tab, because that does keep the box square during shipping. So you don't cut the whole tab off. Got to have something there to keep it a square. But yeah, nice little box. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what we did for those. And then yeah. I think we'll go ahead and pack that real quick, move this stuff off the table, and then show you guys what we have from what Once Upon a Child you said. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be right back. All right, guys, got the the stack in the back. Back stack. <laughs> back stack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I okay. don't know why you guys watch us. <laughs> uh, so we're going to show you what Kathy found. Yeah, you might hear our kids there playing a video game. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Found so, some hunter boots. Um, love finding hunter boots. So I'll, I will tell you what I paid. So these were 10 bucks. I did have 20% off, so 8 bucks. Um, these sell usually right around $30 plus shipping for pre-owned, even if they're in pretty bad shape. These cost like $60 new. People know their kids are gonna scuff them all up so they don't mind paying half of the price. These yeah. are a, Hunter boots are kind of weird. Um, they size them in Euro, so these are Euro 24, but then they say US eight boy or nine girl. I don't know why, because every other shoe hmm. is toddler, girl and boy is the same size. Like, oh. so I don't get why they do that, but yeah. Maybe I in the UK they have different for boy and girl. I always thought the UK was so, kind of like the centimeter measurement. I don't right. know. So I just don't get it. So like yeah. people always ask me, how do I list them? I just write all the numbers in my <laughs> listing and uh, sometimes I'll include a measurement. But yeah. yeah. So that's to, if you buy hunter boots, boots you kind of know what size your kid needs. So hopefully they can figure that out. Yeah. I hello fresh delivery is here. Oh. I see them. So just in case you hear some. <clears throat> uh, all right. These are some hammock. Um, but yeah. These are always a good pickup. Uh, these were $9.50, so minus 20%. These usually sell right around $30 plus shipping. And these are some little baby Jordan. I don't know, that's probably <laughs> them saying our, our deliveries Oh, delivered, here. yeah. So, uh, little baby Jordan crib shoes. And these were $5.50, so yeah, like four something. And they should sell 25 to 30 plus shipping. Some little baby A6 tennis shoes. Um, really good shape. These were $3.50, so about just under $3. 
toddler or infant size four, and these should sell $20 or so, 18 to 20 plus shipping. So yeah, when Kathy hits the once upon a child, she runs to the shoes. And, and I pretty much look through every bin. Yeah. Um, they, at least at our stores, they have bins kind of like our banker boxes, just big blue bins. Yeah. So it's kind of annoying to like sort through cause like they get pretty deep. The baby sizes, especially they have so many, so. But I look through them all and pull out as much as I can. Um, these aren't, this is not a brand I'm familiar with, but these were 350, so fairly inexpensive. And I just bought them on style. They reminded me of Freshly Picked, but they're called Bird Rock Baby. Um, so it's designed in California, infant size two, and animal print, and they're like in perfect condition. So I think I can at least probably get 18 to 20 bucks plus shipping out of those, which that's worth it to me. Shipping is super cheap too. That, yeah, those are <laughs> definitely like an ounce. Light like a feather, yeah. Um, these. Our kid sounds like a train going off or something. <laughs> he like uh, narrates everything he does in like video game playing and stuff. So yeah. That's what happens when they watch too many other people <laughs> playing video games yeah. on YouTube. Uh, these are Joe's Mo Walker. So I usually can pull around at least 20. Sometimes I've sold a couple of these for 30 bucks. Um, they're just like a little, they're not vintage, but they kind of look like a vintage vibe, <clears throat> leather baby shoe. Yeah. And I honestly think they look so uncomfortable to put on a baby, but people <laughs> buy them. So these are F4 and they are real leather. So at the very minimum, I'll get probably 20 bucks plus shipping out of them. And they were $2 after my coupon. Uh, these are Footmates. So um, that is a good kid's brand to look out for, just Footmates. This style in general is just a good style, like the old school, kind of like schoolgirl outfit. Sneaker look, or yeah. Like, uniform type thing. Um, but yeah, Footmates are great. They're a nice leather shoe again. They retail for a lot. I can usually get close to $30 plus shipping out of them. These are a toddler eight. They do have a tiny little scuff here, but otherwise look perfect. So uh, $10, so $8, but if I can get 25 to 30, that's worth it to me. Yeah. Uh, these are Play, one of my favorite kids shoes to look for. So 650 on those. And these are a girl size one use. Yeah, pretty good shape, a little dusty on the suede, but you can machine wash these. They do not look as nice after you do that, but yeah. um, they're really, if you have kids and have not heard of this brand, I would suggest maybe finding your kid a pair because these are like almost indestructible. Well, they're P-L-A-E. Yeah, play. like if I just gave my kid one pair of shoes, it would probably be this because they will last like the whole yeah. year. So um, Super durable sell for active at kids. least for $30 plus shipping, so... Uh, these are some little Nike LeBrons. They've definitely upped their prices on stuff. These would have been previously maybe 10, but probably 850, and now they were 12. Um, I noticed they upped their Converse prices to 10. They were 650, so I probably won't be buying Converse anymore because kids' Converse only sell for like 20 bucks maybe. And yeah. even when I was buying them at 650, um, you know, I'd make like eight, 10 bucks profit. So not gonna be buying Converse at once upon a child probably, but. I still thought these were worth it. So 12, I'm paying just under 10 after my coupon. Uh, they are LeBron, so I think I can probably get close to 30 for them. Might take a little bit, but there wasn't really any listed on eBay right now. There was one sold. So hopefully someone's looking for them. They are an infant or toddler size seven. So yeah, these are cool. Some bands, but they're technically adult size, but they were there. Uh, women's seven or men's five and a half. They are like a nice boot, like a some crazy tread on yeah, that. Some like really nice. Hard tread. to even look so, at. <laughs> these are the Ultra Range MTEs or whatever. They say Eco Dry, water repellent. So they're very nice feeling. Um, a little dusty, so I might try to wipe them down a tiny bit. But they were six fifty, so just under six dollars. <laughs> and these, um, I didn't look up palms, but I think these will do well, maybe even like $40 well. So yeah, I'm excited to do those ones. These must have been in the store for a while because I did notice their other vans were priced up at 10 as well. They used to be 650 so. Mm. Or it could be because they say shoes instead of vans. So maybe oh, the person didn't know that they, they, they were vans. They were vans, yeah. That's it. I do find a lot of mispriced items. Mispriced as in every other brand of that is one price and right. I'll randomly find one for like 250. So I think that's just employees not really knowing what they're doing. Yeah. 
Um, all right, these are just some Sorel uh, snow boots. Snow boots. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sell these all the time. They're a toddler size 11. They sell right around 30 plus ship or so, like 35, 36 dollars, including shipping. Something like, around those lines. These were 10, so eight dollars is what I paid. Those are usually a fast sale, although I hope somebody still needs new boots this season. Yeah. Um, these are just some little baby vans, so I don't skip the baby bins. I think a lot of people are like, oh, baby shoes are not really worth it. But I love the size zero one twos because yeah. that's where you find these crib shoes. Like the Jordans. I found so many, like the girl ones don't do as well. But like if you find the boy Jordan crib shoes, some of yeah. them go for like 50, 60 bucks. So yeah. don't skip the little baby bins if you're going to source that once upon a child. They're almost um, always in perfect condition because, yeah. you know, the kid's not walking around yet. Time. Yeah. Yep. And uh, the freshly picked would be in there. I found some perfect condition like baby saltwater sandals. Those sell for like yeah. 25, 30 bucks. So check the baby bins. Um, but yeah, these are just some little van script shoes. These will sell about 18, 20 bucks. They were uh, infant size three. Those were 450, so just under four dollars for me. Another nice thing, because these are so small, like like look at how big this bag is that Kathy's pulling these out of. Yeah. These would all fit in one inventory box. Yeah. And so you got a lot more storage space for value, right? So yeah, and our store. So this bag gives me double points every time I go. So like one dollar is one point. I think in Denver you have to get way less points to get a coupon, but down here you have to spend like four hundred dollars to get a coupon. So pretty much I try to at least spend enough to get me to the next coupon next time, so that I always have one. Yeah. But yeah, um, and then this is just a coat I bought for my son. North Face. I love. I mean, I sh I love shopping these stores for our kids too. Cause yeah. I liked when they wear nice stuff, and this would probably be like a hundred dollar jacket if I bought it at the store. It honestly doesn't look worn. I did pay more than I would have wanted to for it, but so it's forty. So I paid thirty two dollars <laughs> with my discount, and I'll be able to sell it even if he like gets some snacks in it and stuff when he wears it. I'll be able to at least get thirty dollars pre owned for it. So. Yeah. So yeah. That's about 11 pairs of shoes. I was probably in there an hour. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. So good, you know, half day's worth of work. The nice thing about these is they're super easy to photograph, yeah, right? I love so. that once upon a child does it like right on them, you know? Yeah. Well, you have to take the numbers off. So that adds like an hour of work if you have a, lot, a big haul, so. Right. Yeah. Right, so yeah, get them photographed and listed up. Yep, I still, so I didn't get any new listings up yesterday. Um, so I still have these 32 pairs that we showed you guys the <laughs> other day, and so now that's like 50 pairs that I have to list, but it's, yeah. it makes it easy when I have a lot, so. For sure. What do you think, Reese? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get this stuff off to the post office and you know do a little bit of work here and there and that's gonna be it for today guys thank you so much for watching thanks for all the amazing support from our viewers we do appreciate that and that's gonna be it so guys thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>